Today, I am here with my parliamentary secretary, Soroya Martinez, to announce that I have just tabled the 2020 to 2022 immigration levels plan in the House of Commons. The proposed plan is based on the solid economic foundation of the previous levels plan and in keeping with my mandate letter from the Prime Minister, continues to responsibly grow the number of permanent residents admitted to Canada each year from 341,000 in 2020 to 351,000 in 2021 and 361,000 in 2022. Our plan will benefit to all Canadians because immigration drives economic growth, contributes to our diversity, spurs innovation, and helps employers across the country access the talent that they need to succeed and to thrive. Do you have concerns, especially at the Canada-US border, the land border, about you know, countries starting to move to close their borders amid the COVID crisis? We are supporting other uh, departments in our whole of government response uh, with regards to uh, additional screening, uh, the quarantine uh, provisions which are in place where necessary, self-isolation uh, protocols which uh, when necessary are being followed. And it's part as well of the $1 billion package that the government announced uh, with the Prime Minister a couple of days ago to ensure that Canadians have the support they need. It's important to remain calm and to remain level-headed and uh, not to, uh, to flinch or to overreact in the face of, uh, of COVID-19. And our government has presented uh, a plan that is informed by the evidence, uh, that is informed by experts, and one that should give confidence to Canadian, uh, Canadians uh, from coast to coast to coast that our immigration, our health care system, our public safety apparatus are all working in conjunction to protect them, to protect their health, their safety and their security and we will continue to do that and we will overcome this moment and continue to succeed as a country.